Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, I've completed my set of eight Easter cards that I got as a little bargain on Amazon uh, a while back. If you remember, I did an unboxing on them and I think they've come out really, really pretty. So we've got four bunnies and four sort of Easter, well, three baskets and then just like an Easter egg design. Okay, so we had 28 uh, acrylic gems there and then I did just put one in a bag rather than getting out a 30 storage or a larger storage case i just thought i might as well use my bigger lipstick case there so that's the acrylic gems and then we had five of the specials so we'll need to uh, kit those down into my specials box but as you can see the little tiny blue ones there wasn't many left so but yeah get those put away as well uh, sadly, because these are just acrylic gems and I don't have any DMC codes for them, then these are just going to go into bags um, and I will probably donate them to uh, one of the charities that I support so that they can make use of these with spare drills. The trouble is, I mean, you could actually sit if you wanted to uh, and take out your DMC gems, uh, the ones that you've actually got your numbers uh, for, and you know colour match them up and go through each one but to be honest because I have got quite a few spares now I don't feel the need to keep every single one and um, I don't want to throw them away I do want to uh, make use of them um, I may keep some myself I have got some projects of my own to do uh, where I will need some gems so yeah they will just get bagged down uh, so right let's have a quick look at these cards then so let's look at the Bernies first so they were like a full seam card um, I think they're a six by six square we said let me just double check okay so yeah they're a six inch square which is 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters which is a nice little size they did all come with their envelopes as well which you've got a little bit of wiggle room in there so it accommodates this. I say one of my favourite tips to when you send your card, turn it inside out, put in your envelope and then it just protects the card so the gems aren't anywhere near the top to be knocked or pulled or anything like that. I never have actually sealed a greetings card before I've sent it. Um, Possibly, I suppose it depends if it's one that you know is going to be used as a picture or you know is going to be handled, say, by a, a child or something, then maybe seal it. But I've never found the need to seal any of the Christmas cards or birthday cards or anything I've done in the past. I think the colours on this one, I love the colours of the eggs. We've got lovely bright colours on the eggs, but I'm not keen on this very ba bark. <laughs> dark pink with this um like fawny what is it like a mocha color i think uh i don't know it just it just jars a little bit with me but it's the bright happy colors i love this one look it's a spotty one this one's got little flowers on it this one look at those little flowers they're really pretty we've got a little uh, like a lime and an orange it's like real citrusy lime orange and lemon there on that one and another little flower um, and then this one, look, he's going to eat this one. He's got this one in his hand and he's going to eat that one. So if you wanted to, you could actually split these in half, put that onto, say, a seven by seven inch card. Um, and you could use that as a background or use that as a card as well. You know, that's quite pretty. If you just put Happy Easter on there, that's quite nice as a card on its own as well. So you can stretch these a little bit more. This is the card maker in me coming out. Um, the blank inside which is great which are my favourites really because then you can do whatever you want with it you can put a peel off sticker you can put um, one of those greetings that are pre-printed out that look like they're printed when you put them on um, now that's something I've not seen for a while the rub-ons where you uh, put the sticker or well put the picture on and then just rub over with a lolly stick and when you peel it off you've got like a foiled or whatever picture underneath they seem to have gone out of fashion again at the moment things come and go uh, you could fold a piece of paper in half and cut it to fit you can write your own message you could print on your uh, computer and printer uh, a word document or something and print onto there so there's you know there's quite a few things you can do or you can just write on there happy easter 
and send it off but uh, yeah so that was number one bunny i say he's quite a cute little chap i love his brown eyes i think that's quite good and his little eyebrows <laughs> do rabbits have eyebrows obviously they do uh, oh this one hasn't again this is really cute this one's got like daisies but it's used the special drills the um pearlized teardrops there to make up these big daisies and then we've just got a little one there made from rounds and they've put like gradients on the eggs so we've got like from a light uh, from a dark to a light and on this side and then we've got your squiggles um i just think he's quite <laughs> he looks like he's having a really good laugh that bunny doesn't he with his cheeks all red and he's like he 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 the only thing i did find a bit strange was these these look like christmas baubles to me um but yeah he's definitely a, an easter bunny because he's got his easter eggs so yeah and he's got plenty no wonder he's smiling <laughs> I think these are all going to be quite uh, chunky little bunnies when they've finished eating all these eggs. So again, we've got, this is a lot of printed flowers on this one, but then we have got the eggs here uh, and it did have the little tiny teardrops on these uh, to put on. And then he's holding bunches of daffodils and narcissi. This is very similar actually to my uh, stand um, bunny that I did. Um, it's like the stand up ornament one so he's quite pretty as well but uh, we've got lovely eyelashes on this bunny and again a lovely big smile that one's bringing you a bunch of flowers rather than eating all the eggs these two are greedy these are eating their eggs and then this cheeky little chappy here is just breaking out of an egg <laughs> it's like surprise i'm here so again you know quite good colors i think this one would be quite nice uh, for a little boy i think maybe some of these particularly these two are a little bit sort of girly um, I know we're not supposed to gender stereotype these days but uh, I don't think my uh, grandson uh, my grandsons would be very happy at receiving those but I think they'd be quite happy with that one uh, with his bow tie on there with the spots on and as I say they are all um, a nice scene on the back so they're a full scene so you know they can display them on the mantelpiece or whatever and they're quite a nice little card what was on the back of the others so i did do see that one definitely could use that as uh, an easter card just cut the front off and pop it onto another card because you've got your happy easter on there and then that one again happy easter oh look at that bunny there that one's popping up saying hello and uh, can i have one of your eggs and this one's saying certainly not i have all these eggs and i am looking after them till easter <laughs> Oh dear. Right, so onto the baskets. To be honest, I thought I was going to like the bunnies the best because I do like a bunny. But these are just lovely. I just think the colours, the way they've all been put together. Look at these little blue teardrop flowers here. That is so pretty. And just one pop down here and here with your daffodils in the background. And then your decorated eggs. You know, look, the little, uh, the red egg there that's got the little like daisies in the middle. I just think that is so clever and so well put together. And then the handle on the basket, the way they've got the different colours. So it really does look 3D as though it's a woven basket and the colours down here as well. I really am quite impressed with these basket ones. And that one had a happy Easter on the back there as well. Do I know enough people to send all these cards to? I think this is my favourite. I love this. I love the way the colours have made the basket look really basket weave, like a proper basket weave. The colours of the eggs and then the colours of the daffodils there as well, with just the little flowers. We've just got the little blue um, teardrops there, just making up those little blue flowers in the corner. They're just so pretty. I have to say, I'm very impressed with these. And oh, look at that bunny. I love that bunny's face. That is really sweet. Happy Easter, he said, ha ha, I've got my egg. <laughs> okay, and then this one is just Easter eggs with all your eggs on the back there as well. And all the daisies, I love the daisies. I, think, I do like daisies, I know they're a weed actually. And you know, when you've got them on your grass, it can be quite annoying and you have to cut them and everything. But uh, I do think they're very, very pretty when you get a lovely green grass and you just see the little white and the yellow daisies. Did you used to make daisy chains, you know, pick all the daisies and then thread them all together and make daisy chains, daisy necklaces, we used to. 
that's something I can do with the granddaughters. I've not done that for a while. And then these, look, we've got the special iridescent marquees here, making up these like sparkly daisies on the edge. And then again, the teardrops, the uh, pearlized teardrops there. And then just the little white flowers with the white gems. But yeah, that's uh, clever. And I like the way the leaves sort of come out from this one, just to make it that little bit uh, more 3D, more interest. And then finally, this one's uh, again another basket there with uh, your eggs. And we've got, I think, <laughs> I didn't realise, but I think that's a bunny. I think they're possibly bunny ears popping up there. I did think, are they or aren't they? Um, I think they could be. Albeit these are like crocuses, aren't they, that we've got here. These are like tulips, possibly. Oh, I suppose that could be a tulip. But I think they're more sort of like a crocus. And just looking at those now, I do think that could be a bunny. With one ear popping up and one there that's just folded over a little bit. Um, so maybe there's a bunny in that basket as well. But yeah, we've just got the specials there. And then again, the little blue flowers. The little tiny teardrops making up the flowers there. So a lovely set. I say for, um, for the money, I think they've come out really well. And there's something I would like to think people would keep um, and possibly bring out year after year or put into a little frame and make into uh, an Easter picture to bring out. So I have got an Easter tree that I bring out. So I suppose you could use that. But that's definitely my favourite one. Which one do you like best? So I'm not really a flowers and that kind of person. I love real flowers, but I'm not really into flower pictures. But that one just really stands out a lot for me. I like the colours on the others, but that one is just quite classy. I like that one. Okay, let's sort to... We'll just do the special gems for now and put those away because, as I say, I, what I'll, all I'll do with these, uh, the acrylic gems, is just literally put them into little bags um, and pop them in a box. And then when I've got a lot, I will then just uh, send them for donation. So I'll pop those cards over there. Do not fall off the desk. Stay where you are. Right, let me grab my specials box down. So if you've not seen my special box before, uh, it works on the same principle as my other boxes for all my acrylic and resin gems. And basically I have a card, um, this one's white, so I would look for any white uh, gems in there. But what I do first off is look through my specials um, that are from Craft Buddy. When uh, Craft Buddy Crystal Art send you a kit they put on the back of the kit or uh, somewhere on the um, key code that they send you they put the DMC numbers but they also if they have any special drills put the number of the special drill on their numbering system so what I'm doing is kitting up all of my specials if I can into their numbering system so that I've got some way of keeping track and knowing what I've got I have got a video on how I set that up so if you want to, uh, if you ask, I can find you that one or it is in my playlist. So we have, we've got tiny teardrops. We've got stand, well, larger rounds. We've got marquees in silver and then we've got teardrops in blue and white. So what I need to do is look at my teardrops first. And for whatever reason, Craft Buddy have decided to call their teardrops um, with an S number so they all have an S at the beginning so let's just uh, oops just pull that out slightly so that I can get it set back in there just move that so I can move these back a little bit so you can see what I'm doing now then let me grab a tray as well don't want to be spilling everything everywhere so what I'm going to do, I've got these three, I've got these three lots of teardrops. So they're the quite sort of middle sized white ones and the tiny blue ones. And I need to look through the teardrops that are the craft buddy ones and see if I've got any that are similar. And the answer to that is no, none of those are the same. Okay, so these so 
so I will leave, need to look in my other side for those. So it does seem quite faffing about at the moment. Once it's all done as I need it, then it will be easier to do. But this is how I'm doing things at the moment. And then the M's are my keys in the craft buddy system. So I'm going to look at the M's and see if I've got a silver teardrop. Okay, I've got that one, but that one's like a reddy green colour. It's not the silvery colour. And the answer to that one is no. So we're not doing very well here. But that's okay, because I have still got spaces to put them in the other side. So we'll just put that one in the ends. Okay. And then finally, the Ys are the large rounds. So let me have a look at my large rounds. Oops, oh look, there's one trying to escape there. Let me uh, just, I'm doing it so that I can try and put them back a bit easier, but it's not working very well. I'll have to get some little things to just put in between or something. Right, so I'm looking for those gold colours and like a medium round colour. Okay, so there's that one. Is it that one? I think they're slightly bigger. We'll have a look at that one. See if there's a different one. I think these are all an empty bag there <laughs> must have used those all right so it's none of those so let me go back pop those away so i don't get them all out of order okay so we want to oh, put the y's back why why now i better not sing it is actually already raining so it wouldn't make much difference really strange uh, our daughter and the granddaughters came this morning um, and the, the daughter said, oh, it's going to rain at 12 o'clock today. And I thought, well, it's been brilliant sunshine all morning. And here it is raining. Whoa, scary. <laughs> OK, now then, are they the same size? Let me have a look. Let me have a look at those. It's getting the silver. I thought they were a little bit bigger, but actually, no, they are those. So we have scored. We have one that we can now put into a bag with a number so that's good what i'm going to do with the craft buddy ones because they are sort of muddled up as it were they're not all in like greens and golds and oranges or whatever what i'm going to do is uh, take one gem from each pack and put it onto a card with the number of this one would be y30 next to it so it will just make life a little bit easier rather than having to take them out of here. I can just look down the card and see how that goes. But I've not done that yet, but that is something that I am going to be doing. And I need to be doing it fairly quickly because I am getting quite a few gems. So I do need to get a little bit more organised with those. Right, so now we're going to be going um, and looking. So we want silver marquees. So we'll go on this side and look in the silver. The larger rounds are at the front. Then it's the marquees and the teardrops in the next part. So we're looking for marquees. We've got that one and we've got that one. So it's not... Oh, oh they look muddled up. Hang on. Let me have a look. Ah, right. If you remember, I have got some muddled up ones. So, yeah, I've got two different sizes in that one. Yep, so they're the right ones, but there are two different sizes in that bag. Ooh, do I put them in, don't I? Um, yeah, I have still got these to sort out. So, what I'm going to do um, is put these into this bag with these. So, I know these are all the same. Oops! <laughs> <laughs> nearly, nearly. Put that one over there. So I know that they're all sorted. And then I can maybe get a hubby to do it. I should have got the grandkids to do it this morning. <laughs> Mind you, it would have cost me a fortune. They don't do things for nothing these days. They all want paying. <laughs> so yeah, they've got a mixture of large and uh, medium, and they've got large and medium in as well. So I need to sort those out and they are sorted out. So I'm going to keep those. No, I'm not. I'm going to keep them all together. And they're all the small ones. So, yeah. So I'll put those back. 
in there. Actually, what I could do, let me do this. Because these are all muddled up, sorry, I'm thinking as I go along here. What I'm going to do is put all of the muddled up ones together. Uh, which are the large and the small. And then at some point I will sit and pick them all out. Uh, that's, uh, I could be diamond painting rather than doing this though. That's the trouble. That's why they don't get done because I think, oh, that's another job that I could do at a later date. So I'll put those there and then I'm going to put all these in here because I know that these are correct. So at least I've got one that's correct. And then if I get any larger ones, I'll put them in another bag and then just keep the mixed up bag separate. Aha, it's working, it's working. Thinking, thinking, thinking. That's what I need to do as I go along. <laughs> Okay, I'm keeping these bags because I'll probably put those gems in them as well. So that is the silver marquees put away. Right now, we pop those back in there. I've got the small ones there as well. Are they muddled as well? Yeah, I've really muddled all of them up. Oh dear, I must have been having a bad day when I did that de-kitting. Never mind, so they still need sorting out. And as you can see, actually the green ones... There's not many in those, that won't be quite such a tedious job, so I might do those this afternoon later on while I'm watching telly. Unless I get diamond painting and then I'll just be diamond painting. <laughs> okay, so now we want the white ones. And again, we're looking for, are they all the rounds? They're all the rounds, so we're looking for the teardrops and the marquees. So are they those? Oh, that's difficult to say. Are they, 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 they those? And I do believe they are. I think if you do do a lot of... Um, oh no, maybe they're a bit bigger. If you, or are they? It's difficult to see the white. Oh no, they are the same size. Yeah, I think if you do do, do <laughs> a lot of specials, um, and a lot with special drills on, you do sort of start getting used to the shapes and to which ones you've seen before um, and how they're going. Yeah, they're all the same size. Yeah, I've not muddled those up. So that's the white ones put away. And now we need to look at the blue. And we've got two teardrop blues. So blue is there. That's the rounds at the front. And then we've got teardrops and marquees at the back. And we just want the teardrops. So that's a marquee, that's a marquee, that's a marquee, and that's a marquee. So they can go away. Is that one marquee as well? Yeah, they're all marquees. So it's not that colour. Um, it could be that one. Could ever match with that one. It's not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one, and not that one. So we have got a new one. Okay. I do believe that that is... Yeah, quite a popular one. They're very pretty for flowers, these. The uh, little sort of rounded, domed teardrops. There's no facets on them. So it just makes them sort of like real plump and shiny. <laughs> okay, so we need another bag. So we need a bag. Oh, that one's a bit... Uh, it's had other things in it. Never mind, it's okay. A bag and a bit of card. And then we'll put, there was only a few left. We only just had enough of these tiny teardrops. It's a good job I didn't spill any of these. The circus is only, what, about five or six in here. And they're so small, if I'd have dropped them, I don't think I'd have been finding them very easily. So, so that's another new one we've got. Okay, and that goes in the balloons. Right, that is that put away then. And so all I'm going to do with those is just tip them into there and then that's that all kitted down and done. And I will sit and do those this afternoon. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these Easter cards with me. So they were fun to do, just quick little projects. And um, the reason that I kitted them up into bottles mainly was because there wasn't one bag for each card as there is with like the Craft Buddy and some of the other card kits. It was like 
all of the number ones on this one were the same as the number ones on this one so if you've got them all in bottles you can do one card at a time or you can do all colors at a time and you're not faffing about with bags and there was a lot of colors 34 is quite a lot um, to be dealing with in separate little bags so that's why I just pop them into my bottles there okay well I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me if you have a thumbs up is always much appreciated if you've got any questions or comments if you leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to you and if you want to come back and see what I get up to next then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it you'll be notified when any of my videos come out so thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.